go to outlet for local news. With so many ways for people to receive information in today's media landscape, community newspapers still remain a vital resource in getting news that you care about. I'm Jenny Johnson for Comcast Newsmakers at Suffolk University's downtown Boston studio. Bill Forey, editor and publisher of the Dorchester Reporter, joins me. Bill, welcome to the program. Thank you, Jenny. Pleasure so, to be here. So the paper has been in your family for over 30 years. So can you tell it us has. a little bit about the history as well as how you've been able to maintain your core values over these years? Sure. Well, my parents started the business back in 19, actually back in the 1970s. And the reporter, which we publish weekly now, started as a monthly newspaper in 1983. Uh, and we've since branched out to add other titles to our company. But essentially, the idea was to have locally produced, locally owned community news generated by people from our neighborhood for our neighborhood. And my parents, of course, were uh, entrepreneurs in, in that sense, but they were also invested as uh, as homeowners and people who were, uh, you know, putting kids through school and, and all of the issues that are attendant to growing up in the city and raising a family there. Those are the things that drove them, I think, early on. So what makes it so unique? Well, it starts with hiring and retaining good local people to, to work as reporters and columnists and photographers and, and the people who sell the ads and answer the phone. So it, it, at its core, it's a local business. It's a small business, but it's, it's made up of people from our community. And we're telling our own stories. And I think that's what disti would distinguish any good community newspaper from you know, something that, that's not. Um, people who are of, of that neighborhood care about it and are writing about it, not just because it's a business, but because they they're invested in that community. It's in their backyard. Yeah. So, okay, you mentioned local newspaper. We're talking about the importance of that local news, but you're mm. getting regional recognition. You've won some prestigious awards for excellence in journalism recently in regards to last year's marathon bombing and some coverage that you did. Can you tell us a little bit about the significance of the story? Well, that one obviously hit very close to home, Jenny, and we, we, um, we knew within a couple of hours of the bombing that we had unfortunately lost one of our neighbors, um, uh, Martin Richard, who was the eight-year-old boy who died at the scene. He, uh, his sister Jane was, was grievously injured as well, uh, and his parents were seriously injured. Um, that news came to us very quickly, and we had to figure out how to deal with that, uh, not only you know, emotionally as neighbors and friends of the family, but uh, as, as a news organization. And so we were grappling with that issue. At the same time that the bombing happened, you may recall the, the John F. Kennedy Library had a fire, a very suspicious fire. Yeah and um, the antennas went up all over the world that this was related to the bombing. As it turned out, it wasn't, and it was, a, it was not a, a related incident, but we were the first ones on the scene. Uh, being in Dorchester and being very close to the library, we responded immediately. We were the first ones to report that it, it was not a terrorist act. Um, and we came out to some heat for that because there were other news organizations saying it might have been. So we, we felt we played an important role that day, just in the fog of war. Of the, the way journalists need to kind of wade in and dis decipher what's actually going on. We did that role, but we also had a, a community that was was very badly okay. wounded. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, we had those dual roles going on. I, I thought we did a pretty good job, and in retrospect, um, you know, the job has continued all year long, really, to chronicle the story of uh, the remarkable story of the Richard family. And you have done a wonderful job chronicling Thank that. You. Now, so how is news? So it's dotnews.com that is your online. So That's how is that answer. faring? And, and talk about the importance of that online component. Well, you know, it's always been critical since the advent of the internet. My, and I have to give my father credit. Ed Forey really was early in the wave of. of uh, putting together a website. So we, we had the opportunity to be online early and we had to have a significant brand there over these last 20 years. Wonderful. Well, Bill, thank you so much. I know you have other publications and the Mattapan and what's the other two? We do the Boston Haitian Reporter and the Boston Irish Reporter. Wonderful. Well, well, thank you so much for being Thanks, here. Jim. Thanks for watching Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Jenny Johnson.